our College Radio News Update, I'm Natalie Booker. Several associated student members of the council chamber meeting from April 19th resigned after a 12 to 14 vote in favor of keeping the Aztec as SDSU's official mascot. The resolution to retire the San Diego State University mascot and moniker fails. continues to fail students of color over and over again. I respectfully resign from my position. Uh, AS continuously fails to represent students of color on this campus when we get attacked uh, by different core wits, by anyone who it is. I resign from my position on the board of directors. Thank you. Since then, Rachel Muntz and Natalie Martinez have stepped down from the Student Diversity Commission chair. Muntz and Martinez announced their resignation on Facebook earlier this week. California State University spokesperson Elizabeth Chapin says that Chancellor White will be appointing a new interim president for SDSU to begin July 1st. The March Board of Trustees meeting chair Rebecca Eisen appointed a search chair for the new SDSU president. In the coming weeks, the remainder of the trustees committee will be appointed, as well as the members of the advisory committee, which is a committee comprised of members of the campus community. After that, we'll announce the date for a campus forum during which all campus constituents will be able to share their feedback on some of the qualities for the next SDSU president. Meeting dates and the outline will be established at the next meeting. However, we can expect the selection of a new academic president from the board in the coming year. The SDSU Analytic Studies and Institutional Research Center reports that the admissions for fall of 2017 will be looking a lot like the fall of 2016. Assistant Director of Admissions Denise Hassan reports that each year grows more competitive than the last. But we're still pretty high up there um, with the number of applications that we receive. Um, so, of course, that makes it competitive just because we have 83,000 students applying and we have about 8,500 enrollment spaces that we're trying to fill. Hassan confirms that SDSU has become more competitive for admission but encourages any prospective students to not be discouraged. The CSU system will also be prompting a change in vendors from using CSU Mentor to CSU Apply. Hassan is unsure about what prompted the change, but she thinks it may have something to do with a more holistic approach to admissions. And CSU Mentor, even though the application is pretty straightforward, still caused a lot of confusion for students. Mm -hmm. So I think Cal State Apply is going to be just a more modern and fluid application for students to be able to navigate through. SDSU's first R-rated theater production, The Full Monty, will be playing its final set of shows this weekend. The tale portrays six unemployed steel workers who contrive a plan to join a striptease act. Head director Steven Brodebeck explains that the production meeting surpasses much of the full exposure aspect. Uh, it, for me, the show isn't necessarily about the nudity, and I talk to the guys about this as well. Really what the show is about to me is by the end of the show, audience members aren't, you know, they understand what's happening. The show leads up to that one final moment. But by the end of the show, the audience is rooting for these guys to, to um, believe in themselves. And that's really what happens. The next available showings will be happening April 28th at 7.30, April 29th at 7.30 as well, and April 30th at 2 p.m. Tickets are available for purchase online on the SDSU Theater homepage. Sunny skies with rising temperatures are expected to sustain throughout the rest of the week. Heading into the weekend, we'll experience mid to high 80s in the college area with a small decrease happening in the following week. For KCR College Radio News, I'm Natalie Booker.